My name is Michelle Francel, and I'm a professor of chemistry at Bryn Mawr College near Philadelphia. And today I'm going to talk to you about the way to make the very best cup of tea using science. It's really important to pre-warm your teapot before you brew tea in it. Water, when it's poured into a cold pot, will cool down. And in fact, it will cool down to below the temperature that you really need. The most amount of caffeine and the most amount of antioxidants. And I've got a little temperature sensor in here. And when I pour the water in, you can see that it doesn't even reach 90 degrees in a non-pre-warmed pot. And in fact, as soon as I, it reaches that peak below 90, it immediately starts to drop. You won't get your best cup of tea out of this. But if you pre-warm the pot, you can get that temperature up to the ideal steeping temperature. So I've pre-warmed this pot by filling it up with hot water and letting it sit while I brought the water from my tea to a boil. So I'm now at the ideal steeping temperature and I'll get the, the best cup of tea I can possibly get. And um, if you're drinking it for that zing of the caffeine, you're gonna get as much caffeine out of this as you possibly can. One of the things you can do to make a good cup of tea is make sure that the tea has enough space to expand and for the water to circulate around it. This gets you the healthiest cup of tea and the most um, aromatic with the beautiful scents that come up from a well-brewed cup of tea. Um, I have two things here. I have a tea basket that's got lots of space in it and I have this cute little um, yellow submarine infuser but as you look at it it doesn't have very many holes and the holes are pretty tiny. If you use a tea bag what you want to do is be sure to choose a tea bag that's got lots of extra space, like this tetrahedral one. Um, you can see the tea sits at the bottom, but there's lots of space for the tea to expand. So I'm going to pour the water into both of these cups and let it steep for three minutes. So already you can see in the one with the tea basket how much better contact that has with the water by how dark it's getting. So we've been steeping this for three minutes and you can really see the difference in color between the, the two steeps. I'm going to show too now what happens when you agitate because that's the other thing you can do is that while we're agitating this you can see that it mixes it a little better and you can see that if I agitate that right it still doesn't get as dark as the other one did. So when you use um, loose tea leaves you really want to use a tea basket or an infuser that's really big. These cute ones are adorable but they just are not big enough to really do the job. So what I'm going to do now is make what I would consider to be the scientifically best cup of tea that you can make. So I have a constant water or a constant temperature bath sitting here. Um, the ping pong balls are on the top to help keep the water from evaporating and keep the temperature constant. Um, I have a pot that I'm going to immerse in there. We're holding this at um, just about 92 degrees um, and I'm going to steep it for four minutes. I'm going to use loose leaf tea um, and I'm not even going to put it in a tea basket or a tea bag. I'm just going to put it right into the pot and I'm going to use the stirring rod that's sitting in there to agitate it because agitation turns out to be another key piece of things. So let's pour some water in that we've boiled up and into the hot water bath it goes. Right, and now I'm going to sit here and occasionally agitate it. And you can see all the tea leaves floating around, but at the end I'm going to strain them out. And we're going to let it steep for three minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. I love technology. So now I can just strain this into the cup. Um, the reason I was stirring it all that time is that one of the big chemistry ideas is proximity. You want to keep the tea leaves as close and as immersed in the solvent as you can. By stirring them around, I keep exposing them to that. And you can see the beautiful color. And in fact, in this particular mug, you can also see some of the compounds that are in tea. There we go. Your best cup of tea from science. If you want to learn more about the science behind tea, you can get a copy of my new book, Steeped, The Chemistry of Tea, which is available now.